much better. My name is Kyla Williams and I'm the interim director of the Smart Chicago Collaborative and on behalf of our organization and partners we want to welcome you to our second annual Youth Led Tech graduation. Everybody a round of applause. I'm so excited to be here, first and foremost, because I had the pleasure of witnessing some of your presentations on Wednesday. And I want to say to you, the youth, y'all are amazing. Y'all are so smart. All that good ideas and all these websites that y'all built, we're so proud of you doing what you did, which was not easy. Coming here every day, six weeks, such a commitment. We are really, really proud of you. I don't do this work alone. Um, it takes a lot to, to actually manage the moving parts of running a, so, a summer program, especially in 10 different locations this year. So first and foremost, I want to give it up to my staff members. I have here Monica Swope. <laughs> Always working. <laughs> Always working. And Anthony Smith. They're part of our uh, program admin team and they are the people that were really responsible for ensuring that we got sites and that you guys got food and all the things worked accordingly. So we certainly thank them for their time and, and dedication to the program. We are a small organization, Smart Chicago is, and it's not just me. There's also other staff members that are not necessarily in the program, but directly associated with the program. They did the programs. They run around and bring cases of pop and ice and things to ensure that things run smoothly. So if you're part of the Smart Chicago team, stand up. Wave, wave, wave. Give them a round of applause. They work hard for y'all. I want to give it up to my instructors as well. They had the toughest job. <laughs> Takes a lot to teach kids how to do websites and other things in six weeks. So our, web, our instructors were amazing. Thank you for the job that you did to today and every day this summer. Uh, it was amazing work and, and we're very proud to, to have you with us. Um, I want to share with you a little bit of a story. So in my senior year in high school, um, I had big dreams. I wanted to be a doctor. Um, I wanted to travel the world. I had all these things in my mind about where my life was going to end up. And uh, I met with my high school counselor to tell him all of these things that I wanted to do with my life. And he told me, well, you know, you're a black girl. And you know, black girls don't really get to do those things. So maybe you should go to a black college or, you know, a program where there's other black girls at because what you want to do really isn't appropriate. And it crushed my spirit. You know, I was a straight A student and I was number four in my class. I would have been number one, but my family lived internationally and the credits didn't transfer over quite right when we got to the States. So it crushed me and for a whole week, I walked around thinking like, why do I matter? Why does the things that I thought I should do to be a positive student and participate in school and volunteer in the communities, why did that even matter if someone was telling me that I was only supposed to be this small thing? So after about a week of moping around, my parents asked me, you know, what's wrong with you? And I told them what my high school counselor had told me. Now, for the parents that's in the audience, y'all know exactly what happened next, right? My mom and daddy went up there promptly to address that counselor for putting those types of limitations on their child because they didn't raise me that way. They raised me to believe that I could do anything and everything and even if I failed at it, have fun at failing because that's what life is all about. And I want to say to you students, we live in these neighborhoods and when I say we, I mean we. We all live in these neighborhoods and there are people out here who want to place limitations on your life. They want to tell you that you can only be, that you should only be, that you can only be. 
And I am here to tell you that because you participated in Youth Led Tech as a child, as a youth, you've done something so magnificent that many other adults will never do. So there is no limitation on your life. You can do and be anything and everything you want to be. Whether that's a technician, whether that's a coder, whether that's a game designer, a teacher, a hairstylist, a news anchor person, a, a director of a nonprofit organization. If that's what you want to do, you can do it. Do not let anybody snuff your dream out. You hear me? Don't let anybody snuff your dream out. You have the potential to be the greatest you and even beyond what you think you can be, there's always the next step greater. Beyonce ain't stopped after that first album. <laughs> you know, she kept uh oh and uh oh uh and some more, right? And redefining herself and has a lot of money and has a family and travels the world and does everything that she wants to be. You can be that person. I'm here as a living witness that you can be, okay? All of us adults sitting around this room are living witnesses that you can be anything that you want to be. If you have questions about what that is, if you need some direction, find an adult, starting with the folks that were with you this summer. Your instructors are great resources for you to be able to figure out what your next steps in life are. And it doesn't matter if you're 12 or 14 or 18. As long as you're living and you still have breath in your body, you have the ability to make a difference to be the best you that you can be. I want y'all all to remember that. I'm going to bring up next um, one of our partners. We are so excited to have uh, this great partnership with Microsoft. Microsoft um, is one of those special type of organizations. When you think about Microsoft, you guys think about probably like software products, right? And maybe hardware products too. But they are doing such great community work and we are certainly happy that they've joined us again in our partnership to support the discount that they gave us on these beautiful laptops that the children are earning today, but also to just offer good thought leadership as we try to move the digital skills platform forward. Um, I would like to bring up from Microsoft, Adam Ekman. Oh, thank you, it's awesome to be here today. And by the way, I just, I did the hashtag, no limitations. So that's all for you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, on June 28th, 1966, I was born here in Chicago in a hospital on the south side. Does anybody know what happened six weeks later on this day, 50 years ago, on the southwest side of Chicago? Any st I know you know. All right, Kayla, what happened? Stand up. Uh, <laughs> you're in a church. Martin Luther King Jr. marched at this church. That's right. Martin Luther King Jr. marched uh, at Marquette Park on the southwest side. And it was a historic march. And that was 50 years ago today. Now at the time, in nearby Chicago Lawn, my grandfather was the rabbi at a synagogue that was called Congregation Lawn Manor. Now that synagogue was set up as a safe house for Dr. King. Does anybody know what a safe house is? Sa a safe house is a place that you go that's set up for you, that's set up for you just in case things get really bad. So knowing that Dr. King was going to be going and speaking in a predominantly white neighborhood and marching, it was a place that he could be swiftly ushered to and held in safety should the situation turn catastrophic. My grandfather set that up as a place where he could go to be safe. And although Dr. King, 50 years ago today, faced terrifying violence on that day, he fortunately didn't need to retreat to the synagogue. So tonight, I'm going to honor Dr. King's legacy by returning to that synagogue that housed the congregation that my grandfather led. However, today, interestingly enough, that synagogue houses an all-black congregation of Jews. African Americans, 
Africans, Latinos, and others will celebrate Dr. King's teaching in the Jewish fashion. And I'll be celebrating the Jewish Sabbath with my brothers and sisters in this very special community. But that's tonight. Today, I'm going to celebrate your accomplishments as you, every student that's in this room, is Dr. King's legacy. And you can keep that legacy alive. And in fact, I would say you have a responsibility of keeping that legacy alive by continuing your education, by not only taking jobs in the technology community, but becoming leaders in that tech community. So I want to challenge each and every one of you. Each one of you has to teach and mentor 10 others who were just like you when you first started with youth-led tech. You need to be the leaders that start the new businesses. You need to be the leaders that lead the innovation. You need to be the ones that inspire the generation that comes after you. So you just went through an amazing program. And if my grandpa were alive today, and if he were standing here, I know that he would say to you, Mazel Tov and Yasha Koach, which means congratulations and may you go from strength to strength. Thank you for having me here today. Thanks, Adam. We appreciate you being here today. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready to get this show on the road? We're excited. We are excited. We're going to go in a little bit of a different order because we had to go and uh, get uh, one of our students who uh, is at the other center. So we're going to go with the, this, the home site, New Life Church. Y'all ready? Yeah, ready? Can I have the instructors for New Life Church, please? We have Akaya Gossett. We also have Mike Gore. And we also have Brother Will. Are you guys going to offer remarks? Because you know I got a microphone. I can sing and do a couple other things, but you know, I think they want to hear from y'all. Good morning, everybody. Um, on myself, be, um, on behalf of myself and the other instructors, and of course, I'll let them talk. Um, I definitely want to send a huge thank you um, to the parents because without your support of you know some of the things that we had to address, um, this would have been a long, excruciating process. The kids, <laughs> the kids did a great job this summer. They made over 25 blog posts on their WordPress sites. Of course, some of you guys were here Wednesday to see them, and they have done an outstanding, outstanding job. And it would not have been possible without the support of our friends, our family, and the parents um, of the students. So I just want to say, you know, kudos to you. You guys have raised some amazing children, and we know how hard that that can be in the type of neighborhoods and with the surroundings that we're living in. So I just want to say kudos to you, and thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm one of the assist instructors here at uh, New Life Roseland. And I want to say that I had an amazing time this summer uh, just helping guide the youth and just teaching them all about making websites. And we taught them a lot, not only dealing with the technology aspect, but real life issues. So we talked to them about networking and just being an entrepreneur, starting their own businesses. And I really feel like that this program was really special and it helped impact each one of the youth's life in a positive way because a lot of youth came in and they had ideas and they did, some of them didn't have an idea of what they wanted to do when they, when they got out of school or when they left high school or whatever. But now I got a lot of, uh, of, a, a lot of the youth and they came and they got a lot of uh, ideas of what they want to do. So now they're like, okay, we want to start our own business. Now we want to do this or do that. Or we have a whole plethora of, of, uh, of uh, things that's going to flourish based on what they learned from this program. So I really think that this was a good opportunity for the youth. I had fun. I, I felt like they grew as a community. And it was just, it was just an awesome experience. So I want to thank the parents and the students for even being involved with Youth Led Tech. 
and that's all I got to say. So I know my, so I know my youth are ready for me. They don't like for us to talk for a long time, so I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. But um, six weeks, six weeks of complete strangers uh, coming together, actually becoming friends and becoming family-like. And uh, six weeks of change, uh, where they came in one way, but I feel as if each and every one of uh, the children that I had a, a privilege to serve uh, are leaving with something different. And all it took was six weeks. Um, and I believe and I want them to hold that dear to their hearts that uh, they can do anything and they can change uh, whatever situation they, they think they're currently in. It's just a matter of time, having patience and believing in themselves that they can do it. And of course, you guys support. So with that being said, I guess we'll get started with them <laughs> receiving their, their awards. Um, so to, to reiterate what Akaya said, all of the youth who completed their 160 learning hours of computer technology, workforce development, and regular life skills have earned their laptops that they used in the program as well as a book bag that we have uh, provided for them to keep their laptops safe and hopefully help with the, some costs for you parents when it comes to back to school supplies. We know how that gets, certainly. Um, our next 
uh, oh, before I, I move on, um, I want to just thank our sites because they opened up their doors and allowed us to come in here and just kind of sort of take over. So we want to thank uh, the staff uh, at Dr. Elsie uh, Young Community Center as well as the staff uh, here at New Life Church and for the staff at Youth Peace Center. We certainly thank you for working with us this summer. You were formidable partners and we th thank you for allowing us to participate in your facilities. Coming up next is Youth Peace Center. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Janelle um, Cole from Youth Peace Center in Roseland. Um, I just first want to first start off by saying happy birthday to one of our students, Stephanie Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> this summer I had a great opportunity to work with um, so many awesome students. Um, honestly, this program is designated for us instructors to help you all, but you all have helped me grow in so many ways this summer. Just in six weeks, um, I've learned so much from each and one of you. Um, I also want to highlight a few of our students. Danielle Smith and Brianni Deans, Xavier Cole, um, their websites was, were so amazing. <laughs> Danielle Smith um, created a website um, designated to help felons once they reach back home and out of, when they exit the prison systems. Her website had over 50 views and she also gained two international followers within just a short amount of time so yeah 1600 followers two international views and her and, she, and all of them not to just highlight three students all of them work very 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 hard on the website so I just want to say I really really appreciate the time we spent this summer and um, I hope to see you all next year okay. How y'all doing? My name is Mr. Brown, Aaron Brown. Uh, I had a wonderful time this summer. Even uh, when we had to go to different sites, we undefeated still. This my speech. <laughs> Listen, I just want to say. I, I'm like happy that I had the greatest sports players on my team. You know, uh, I like to thank uh, a couple of. Uh, well, I had bond with a lot of the youth. We had a uh, one-on-one -on -one time a lot because youth do go through everything. People don't pay attention or listen to the youth. A lot of times, that's why the children do the things that we do. Well, they, that they do because I did the same thing they did, and I wish I had a mentor to actually speak to me when uh, I was going through certain times. So I want to say thank you for the youth for even trusting me and speaking with me when you uh, didn't have to. Uh, and good job you winning all the time. Big dog, what up, big dog? Hey, big dog. <laughs> um, well, like if you didn't hear them, they said my name's Ariel. Uh, I am the youngest assistant instructor at Youth Peace Center. So um, that was kind of, I was nervous because I felt like I was not going to be treated as if I am an instructor, but um, my peers, my students treated me with respect and I appreciated it. Um, I created a bond with every last one of them and I will never forget them. Um, I seriously like you guys are great. You guys, all of you, you're great in the back. Hey, hey, you're great. If you didn't hear me say it the first. Oh, okay, so there's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret. I am big on pronunci pre ah, pronunciation and diction. 
and um, I make my students say certain words correctly like library because that's a big thing I hate when people say say it I can I hate that <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> so um, we work on it uh, like every day because somebody seems to always say library and it bothers me. So lesson of the day, library. <laughs> Got it? Do y'all get it? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to say that this was an amazing summer for me. I am a college student and I will be going back and I'm probably going to talk about you guys like all the time. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say. I hope to see y'all next year. If I don't, I'll still see you. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first off, we have me up here. Nikeo Brown. <laughs> Xavier Cole. Brianni <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Davon Fletcher. <laughs> Stephanie Johnson. <laughs> Treshawn Johnson. <laughs> Danielle Smith. L.C. Thurman. Uh, one last thing is, I want to say that uh, I really enjoy spending uh, this summer with y'all. I spent just some, I spent a couple of days with uh, the other youth. I had fun with y'all. I'm coming to the truth. It was really fun. I know y'all said you won. All right. Per usual, Aaron Brown is revving up the crowd and getting everybody excited about what y'all play, softball or, or kickball? Oh, okay. So, so let, let me explain why, why all the excitement. So yesterday uh, was rec day for all of the sites, which means that they all got together and played each other in recreational games. And the sites are separated by age. So we had uh, 12 and 13-year-olds, uh, 14 and 15-year-olds, and then 16, 17, and 18-year-olds. And from what I heard on the streets, it was like the young kids beat all of the old kids. That, that's not, they were, they were Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. All right. 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 Settle down. Uh, is Dr. Elsie Young ready? Where's their staff members? Are they ready? Yeah. So Ronald and Angel will come okay. with all come. that. Where's your student? <laughs> Where's Angel at? Oh, he said he just going to do this thing. Okay. Let's get them up. Please, Monica. Can you assist them? Thank you. Dr. L.C. Young, center. Brother Ronald coming up here. Brother Ronald, ain't you a preacher, a deacon, board member? What you what you do? I'm a deacon. Oh, yeah, he is a deacon. All right, y'all get prepared. Get, get your scriptures ready. <laughs> there you go. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, since we're in this edifice, we want to thank the man above for allowing us to be here today. Secondly, we want to thank the parents. You can't hear? Okay, we want to thank the parents 
for being consistent with sending your children every day. Because with consistency comes routine. With routine comes knowledge. And we thank you this morning. I thank the students this morning for being involved. I thank the students for wanting to make a difference in their community, in their lives, and in their families. We thank you for your participation. I want to thank this morning Dr. Griggs, who runs the LZ Center, who's here, who work with the staff and the students diligently every day without cease. We want to thank the students themselves for working together in teams and individually helping each other. We want to thank you for the social bond that they developed that may not end ever because they were doing something that was constructive, something that was good, something that they can carry with them the rest of their lives. Technology is a new age. And to get involved at such an early age gives you a lift up. It evens the playing field. And we just want to thank you this morning for your participation. And I want to thank the staff that I worked with over at LZ. And I want to thank Courtney, who was our lead teacher, who was our lead technology person, who did an excellent job with the students. Dedicated, young woman. Been out of, been out of college for four years, but can relate. She bridges that gap. And I want to thank Angel. Angel for adding another cultural dimension to our site. And myself, you know, add a little wisdom, a little age, <laughs> you know, a little understanding so no. to the group. So we had an excellent staff to work with an excellent group of students. And I just want to thank everybody on this stage for putting us together and allowing us to do something that was positive for our children because we know they are, they got a bullseye on their chest. Yeah. We know that. You know, and every time uh, they get caught driving, every time two or three gather on a corner, you never know what's going to happen. But during this summer for six months, we know that all the students that we, we had charge of went out in that particular situation and that they all were safe this summer. We had no tragedies within the entire program. And we just want to thank you today. And Next year may be a bigger and better program. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Angel Rodriguez, and I'm an assistant instructor at the Dr. LZ Young Community Center. And I just want to say that it was a complete honor to take care of these students. They're really, like, they started from the bottom, and then we just helped them progress more higher as they, you know, um, they were just... They were down, but then we bring them back up, so that was a good thing. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, Lord, if I turn into a peanut butter cup up here. Uh, I don't really have much to say, obviously. They've said everything. Um, thank you to the whole entire Smart Chicago. Um, to the parents, you guys are really, 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 I'm so thankful because and without you all, they would have not come. They did not want to listen sometimes. But that's just being a 13 and 4. I had 13, 14, and one 15-year-old. So um, I hope that you all took a lot of knowledge. Did you guys take a lot of knowledge? Yeah. I need to hear Dr. L. Did you guys take a lot of knowledge with you? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So as long as they got knowledge with them, they okay. Thank you. Okay, so.
just give special um, thanks to our other partners who couldn't join us this morning. Um, the program was funded by Get In Chicago. Let's give them a round of applause. Of course, you heard from Adam from Microsoft. Let's give them another round of applause. And new this year to the program, CRT Labs. Let's give them a round of applause. So that concludes our certificate and laptop presentations. Uh, my last word is for parents. Again, uh, the staff and the instructors have certainly given you uh, a lot of love today. I want to conclude to say that, you know, we've done what we needed to do for the six weeks. Now, we're turning it back over to you. So it's your responsibility now to help to continue to feed and nourish these children in technology. If you have questions about what other programs are available during the school year or beyond, please see me or one of our instructors so that we can assist and help to guide and continue to nurture and mold these kids and keep them safe as they move into adulthood. We have some cupcakes and beverages uh, available for you up, upstairs. Hey, hey. And for my parents who attended both the demo day and are here today for graduation, we have a little incentive for you today. So come see me um, after the conclusion of this program. Thank you again. Let's give us all a big round of applause.